trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN Educating Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. This is the Dow Jones futures, folks. Everybody that has bought this stuff since October the 10th, two weeks ago, everybody that's bought in here now has a losing position. There's our number. We're only 36, uh, 60, cents, 60 cents away. Move us up on a really small time frame. You'll see that we're going to be making a nice little... Uh, a, B, C, D. Oh, there it is. It's going to come in. Th there's your number right here. Okay, so you're going to have a little bit of a bounce. I would, well, who knows? I'm just giving you a little heads up here. There's a number right there. We're 50 pips away, so we should get to this level without uh, too much trouble. Now, if we start closing below it like we're doing in the Russell. This is a really bad, uh, really bad situation for the for the stock market. But I want to show you another one over here, folks. This was the, the, this you talk about one that literally breaks your heart. Okay, this is the one in the silver. If you remember, we had this this big number right here, <laughs> and it misses it by twelve cents, folks. It's moved seventy five hundred dollars today. You can see here it misses it by twelve cents, and uh, this didn't uh, quite do anything. Now we had a, a, a move in the in the gold market that uh, made a three eight two. I should show you that since we're looking at a couple of these things here together. But no, you know, let's talk, let's talk about what really counts. Okay, here's the Treasury bonds. Now there's a new video out by uh, Paul Tudor Jones. He was on CNBC. Uh, no, Bloomberg. He was on Bloomberg today, and they were talking to him, and he said he wouldn't touch these things. He said the reason why he thinks that no matter who gets elected. They're going to be, you know, printing bonds to buy bridges and whatever, tax refunds, whatever it's going to be. He said he wouldn't touch them. Well, there's a reason for that, folks. This thing's been really bearish for a long time. And as you can see, it just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. If we look at the Treasury notes, of course, which is the larger of the markets, we'll get this up here and uh, we'll try to bring to your attention what we were looking at a long time ago. And you'll see there's uh, where we were. Uh, on the long-term weekly, remember we were saying this ABCD pattern that we had up here was extremely, extremely bearish. Okay, now folks, uh, the number that Jeff Huge talked about yesterday is for the first 200 years of our country, uh, we had finally got to one trillion dollars in debt. That was 18 years ago. Okay, since that time, we've been adding a trillion dollars every 100 days i know that seems hard to believe but that's how we get to 36 trillion trillion folks do you realize how many zeros that is that's 12 zeros we, i was with jim bartolioni and uh, john lennon uh, john legend it's different john legend he was the he was the top gun of the group uh, rooster was his code name we were in uh uh flushing new york visiting and, and, and trying to convince some folks from China to uh, you know invest in a, a Bart's uh, hedge fund and he had a, a nice track record uh, you know virtually very little drawdown positive all the time it was a three billion dollar one folks that was nine zeros and we had the counts right there I'd never seen three billion nine zeros before and uh, they uh, were very interested. They were all ready to go, and then they did. This was in 2014, 13, 2013, and they decided to go with a respected veteran of Wall Street, uh, Bernie Madoff. Anyway, they ended up losing uh, quite a bit, but not all of it. They lost about uh, a third of it, and they did get some of it back, which was good. But they did lose over a billion dollars uh, on that. But anyway, this is this is why we're looking at something so berries, folks. Here, this is really. Uh, really really important remember the interest rate market topped way back here four years ago remember this was negative interest rate uh, theory up here 
now you can see what's going on and this is this is why we're running into some serious problems uh, in here with the treasury bonds so that's what we're paying that that doesn't mean they can't have a little bit of a rally here folks but boy that's probably all you're going to get because it doesn't look like it has many friends as we see it now i've been asked to talk about apple because it's under the gun here this morning and uh i think i, I don't it must be bad quotes if the apple's having a down day but uh, we'll see what's happening. I, I never checked McDonald's either because they had a uh, scare for E. coli. I thought that just came with, uh, whoa, we're having a big move here at Apple. This is, uh, okay, well, it's not that big. Here we are. Here's Apple on the daily. All we're doing here is making an ABCD here, folks. That's all it is. Let's look at this on the four hour. If you're an Apple fan, this is nothing wrong with this stock. You're just having a nice little ABCD. There it is right there. And we'll just measure it from the low right back here. And you'll come in. This is probably spot on, 382. And there it is right there, 382. So there's your line in the sand with Appel, Mr. Appel, right there, 28. Uh, 2859 is the 382. The low today has been 2893. It's a buck higher than that right now. So as long as you stay above this, it still looks pretty good. This is nothing more. Then an ABCD pattern right here, right at the 382, A, B, C, D. Right there at 2859, the low is 2278, uh, 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 so it missed it by 26 cents. It's up a buck from there. Anyway, that's what we're watching. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on. We got game, folks. The old uh, clock on the wall is telling us that the old uh, E-mini stop and P has just hit the old level right in here. So this is where... It's got to hold this level because if it doesn't, and if it doesn't, therein therein lies the problem. And we're already we're already breaking down in, in these and some of the uh, well, you can see the Russell's breaking down, the S and P's breaking down. So, but there's the number right there. There's your big A B C D. There's a 61 percent right here, two two six uh, eight three. So that's uh, something that it should hold right here. And I think the old uh, cowboy ought to probably uh, lighten up on the short side here. But I'm going to wait just a little bit because some of these things look so doggone bearish that uh, you got to be just real careful. Let's blow this up just a little bit because it's only an eight-minute chart. I want to get to make sure I have all the numbers lined up here to see what we're doing in right now. In fact, there we go. All right, there that comes in here, right down here, list a little bit lower. So we're going to keep a close eye. What I'll do now is I will raise my stop up in on my short position too, right about here at 27.20. Uh, so if we get back up to this level right here, I'm going to take my profit on that, and then we'll we'll see see what happens. But uh, the, the, we start getting below here, folks, and we're already doing it. Here, let, let's just get up with the old stop and pee because that's the real market. Hold on one second here. And uh, you can see the Russell just, you know, just dropped another three points since we've been on the air. Where is the S? Well, the S and P. Look, it just keeps it just keeps cascading. Look, it just it just keeps going on. Well, it's set at the. Let's just look at this here on the daily, so we can uh, f let's use the four hour, Larry, so we can see it. See how we're see how fast we're coming down, folks. This is not a good sign, especially when there's no news here, folks. Remember this? We topped here, there a week ago. Look where we are now with no news. There's something's out there. I don't know what it is. Let's take a quick look and see where we are here. We're right below the 50% now, so it doesn't look too good. Let's wait and see what happens, okay? Set on your hands here and see what happens. We'll be right back. 877-927, whatever, whatever, whatever. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. 
educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this is the AI program, you know, that's based on that floor trader's handbook kind of stuff with artificial intelligence. But look, you really don't need that. I mean, honest to God, if you're going to trade the S&P in a day and you have a day like this, uh, we're, we're just going to go from right here, okay, because I happen to be watching that one. If you move over to this area right here, there was our overnight high, which was right here, okay? Now, we say when you have a big trend down, you want to watch for that first 382 retracement, Okay. And there it is, right there. There's the first 382 retracement right there. These are the kinds of things we're going to be doing Friday with our live uh, program if we have a day like today. First of all, what I'm going to do is take off the AI so I don't have to look at it. It's not important right now, except that it should rally the last half of the day. But look at this. There's your first 382. Okay. Now, if you're ready, just look for the second 382. This is how the trend is formed. There's your second 382 right here. Boom. What do you think that one is? There's your third 382. So we're getting right down here where we got a whole bunch of things. Say we got a hold here. We're already below the 1.618. You see, you're almost in meltdown mode. So that's why you, you know, these why these things start to move. They just keep going down, down, down. Now we're supposed to rally the last part of the day based on the AI program. Remember, the last part of the day is the least reliable because by then you've gone through 200 two-minute bars. Okay that predicted what it was not on Wednesday, but what was on Monday. So what we want to do now is we're just going to go to a 30-minute chart and see if there was a low or a high on Monday around 1 or 2 o'clock. So let's come over here on Monday. We're going to be over here. See, Monday is what was the 21st, I believe. Monday was the 21st. We want to see if that time was right around 2 o'clock. There's 12 o'clock. And there's 2 o'clock right there. So there should be uh, some type of a trend change around 2 o'clock based on what we're looking at right now. Now, as you see this thing dropping like it is, it's exceeded all of the ABCDs on the downside. I believe it has. Let's double check it because uh, we might be right at it. No, we've already exceeded it by a long shot. In fact, way past 1.618. So that's another reason to think that, uh oh, maybe it's not going to to hold very much at all. Okay, now let's move over and talk about one that might work, might not, but have a little fun with it anyway. This is uh, January soybeans. 
Okay, now here's where we are. You can see the ABCD with January. So it means that all we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the hourly chart. And you can see it's right, took out the highs of yesterday. All right. Didn't go anywhere. And where is it setting, folks? You see that 382 right there? That's a 382 off of the high way back here. So this is a very low risk trade. Uh, high has been seven and a half. It's trading at six. So I'd say four cents would all you'd have to be. You took out yesterday's high, didn't go anywhere, backed off a little bit. But you know, it's, this is a it's a possibility. And you know, we don't know which is, which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. No one knows that. Okay. All right. Let's move back on here. We'll talk just a tiny bit here about the old uh, British pound. If you talk about a gift that keeps on giving, boys and girls. Let's get it up here where we were on the long-term weekly. There's where we were here on the weekly. What we're expecting is a move just like this one right here. See how it backed off that much? That's what we're expecting it to do uh, right here. Um, so anyway, there's the exact 786 up there. We sold it at 134.10. We're now five and a half, five handles under uh, the price, and we got. we think we're halfway there. Uh, so we're going to see uh, if it's going to work or not. So right now it's working. We've locked in some profit, of course, in case things go really crazy. But uh, things do go crazy at times, and there's nothing else uh, that uh, you can do uh, about that as you're uh, over watching it. Now we'll get back here for just a second here. I wanted to get up to the gold here this morning. Um, I just wanted to bring it to your attention here. Here's gold. We're down uh, over uh, $50 from the high, but right there was your key level right here, folks. We're just going to take this over to the to the four-minute chart to watch it up there at 2670. I already had this in here. Uh, I I sent this out, but uh, it was I said look for a 382 retracement, and uh, there was the high right here, and there was the, the 382 retracement came right here at 27. Uh, 69, 2760, excuse me, 2766. And then it came down, and we had a one other 382 retracement here. I believe, hold on, we'll draw it in so you'll be able to see that one. Uh, no, it missed it by uh, missed it by a half a dollar right here, uh, missed it by quite a bit. And now you can see we, we're continuing to, uh, you know, back off a little bit uh, from those levels. But that's still, that's all you're doing, and that's what I'll try to do on Friday is to find – you know, things like that that look pretty interesting to see if uh, they'll work. Let's take a quick look here at the crude oil because this is another one that we talked about in the video uh, that I sent out uh, about 3 o'clock in the morning. There's where we were. You can see uh, early in the morning right there. It's around 3. I said, you know, you're probably going to get an ABCD. We went down to the 50% level. We went up to the 61% retracement, and now we're drifting lower. Uh, ever since that last one came in here, we had a little bit of a bounce here, and I don't know if that you know, it was a little more than a 382. I can tell you that right. Well, I can't tell you that. I'll just measure it myself. But there's your high, and there's your low. It goes right to the 50%, and now we're looks like we're starting to move lower. Let's look at this on the longer term basis, folks, because it still had a big run here. We had that big ABCD to the upside. There's the there's the 382. Uh, from earlier, earlier in the morning, and I believe if you looked at that from this high down to this low, it hit it exactly right on the money here at 203. It's now 1500 bucks into the good if you were able to uh, take advantage of that. But here's the real key here now, folks. This is a four hour chart over several months. This is a one, three, five pattern. There's no question about it. So we have to watch this with extreme care because there is where we are. There's one, there's three, there's five. Get rid of that. And all we've done so far is make a 382 retracement. Now we're pulling back a little bit. So this is going to be really key area to be looking at here. Now this is the action from uh, the 18th five days ago. So we want to watch this action real closely. So what we'll do is we'll go down to the hourly chart just like we were looking at before. And there's what we're going to be watching right here. We're just going to clean this up a little bit because there's the there's the big low. There's the big ABCD. Bada bing, bada boom. It looks like what we're ready to hit is uh, you'll see the first retracement went to the 50% level. You see how the 382 three, the three, held it the first time. It did not hold it the second time. Then it rallied up. So here's where we are 
uh, we're right at the, uh, well, we're back at the 382 of the whole thing right now. So this is a potential 135 pattern forming in this level right here. Given the fact that we're where we are right now in this, folks, I would give a high probability of this little puppy coming in right down at the old 618 right there. And there's your old flag on the wall down about another buck. And there's where it's got to hold. It's, don't hold this. Got no problem going a whole lot lower if it breaks that. So let's remind ourselves of that. 33 seconds to go if you have any questions. 877-927-6648 and we'll see what's going on with these markets. So stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. We're going to talk about some currencies. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, uh, this is the uh, dollar index. As you remember, yesterday we were sitting right at that 
61% retracement. And I said, if it doesn't hold here, it look out. And you can see it exploded to the upside. Now, when that explodes to the upside, we know that the euro is going to be going to the downside. So we'll get the euro up here and take a look at this. We're look at these folks because these are how money markets are operated with. There's our uh, euro, and you'll see it'll be going down, boom, down it goes. There was the number. You see that? It already started down before the dollar index, so that means all the other currencies were also under a little bit of pressure. So we're getting close to the 78% level down in here, but you know that's, that's neither here nor there. I've already covered uh, the British pound. We don't have to look at that again. It just keeps... Uh, just keeps dropping. Once in a while, you get lucky, and you know, we got lucky in the bonds a few months ago. And anyway, it doesn't make any difference. You've got to do one at a time. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's uh, the bottom thing of what we're paying attention to here right now. You can see the the pound is still uh, heading lower. Uh, I'm going to try to get these straight so that I don't mess them up too much because I can't get too many things into my program because then I'll be confused, and I don't like being confused. So. That therein lies the rub. Okay. Okay, now we're going to come over here. And uh, by the way, if you did this trade in the soybeans, you only have to risk about four cents because they're trading at 06. Now, the high has been 07, so you risk a couple cents above that. So if they get above 10, so you're risking four cents, you're going to lose $200. And that's certainly a possibility. Well, find out whether that's going to be riding or not. At least you're not in the bond market, folks. That's the main thing. you got to be really careful of that one. All right, let's move over here. And someone asked a question about the silver. What do you do when it misses your target like that? And I happen to be uh, sent this out about 3 in the morning. Uh, there's where we were. I'll get this up here on a smaller time frame. I'll just show you what I was watching. There was the high. I was looking for the high to get to 35.10. And it didn't quite get to that high. So all I was going to say, okay, what happens if we get a 382 retracement? Well, this one, you can see the market came down. It went a little bit above the 382 retracement right here. But I don't trade silver very often. So I was doing gold. And gold did what I thought it was supposed to do right when I was doing the video. And it had to be up in the middle of the night to catch it, which I wasn't. Anyway, you can see the market broke down. And now we've come down to a pretty big level here looking at this just on the hourly chart you can see uh the range of that we everybody that's bought it here uh for the last two days now has a loss uh in both the silver and the gold now whether that means anything or not because they could still go back up there and make that pattern but we'll find out you know a little bit later as we uh look at these things unfold here uh, today. Okay, now let's get this out of the way, get back to the currencies that I want to cover. And we've already done the British pound. Uh, I'm not going to do the cross rates because I don't do cross rates, but we want to come up and do the next one. Uh, excuse me, the first one we want to do is the Australian dollar layer. Where is it? Then we got to do the Japanese yen. That's a, that's a big one because so many people play that. Here's the Australian dollar also breaking down. You see how we broke below the 382? Uh, it was also telling us. Uh, that uh, things were not doing too well. No rallies in here at all, virtually. Just boom, straight down. That tells you that U.S. dollar is really strong, folks. Why, I don't know, but it's really strong. And as you can see, it's breaking down in here. And as we look at the Australian dollar, you can see we are coming into an ABCD pattern here at the 61% retracement. We're just going to blow this up just a little bit so we can see it a little better. Uh, and this will be a tradable pattern. There's your AB pattern right here. CD, and where does it come into? Oh, it's right here, right now. Very interesting, boys and girls. Let's do something and go down to a four-hour chart and see how clear it is. There it is, right there. The old three drive. This is a this is a tradable pattern, believe it or not. Okay, we're just going to do it together here right now, and we'll see. There's our AB leg right here. There's our CD leg right here. Oh, we're there right now. This is it. Well. This is it, folks. I, you know, I, that this is over the last ten days. This is a, this is an A B C D three drive to a bottom. There's no question about it. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three. I'll draw this in, so that you folks can take a quick look at it. But uh, whether it holds right here or not, I don't know. But it's at one sixty. It's at sixty six twenty one. You wouldn't have to risk more than about thirty cents or three hundred dollars to see if that's good. And over the last few days. 
I don't trade this very often, as you can imagine, me talking about it right now. What we'll do is we'll clean this up and check out. You know, all I know is A, B, C, D, folks. That's that's what uh, that's what old John Hill taught me, and by golly, it works okay. Anyway, there's where we are right now. Whether that works or not, you know, we will have to wait and see. All right, let's get this out of the way here, and then we want to look at the Japanese yen because that's a really big one that – Everybody looks at because it's where the big daddy rabbits play with their, all their uh, funny money that they run around with. Let's get this up here right now. It's had a pretty good rally. Oh, my goodness. Look where we are. Shut the front door and raise the rent. How can you do something like this, Larry, on a day like today? Are you kidding me? I got to put a trade on here. Free fresh. Two days. Look where we are. Shut the front door. There's the high. What's this number, boys and girls? 153.276. And the high has been, let's just double check here. The high has been 153.118. 153.276. The high has been 153.218. Looking at it on a little smaller time frame, see it's backed off a little bit from the high. There was the high right here. A little ABCD in here. This is probably a 382 right here, folks. Let's just double check it. See if it was. There it was right there. So looks like this Japanese yen is getting ready to uh, rally a little bit. In other words, a dollar right here, instead of going up, should start to go a little bit lower. The yen should start going in the direction uh, of the upside, whereas the dollar would start to sell off. Okay, With the futures market, it's totally different. And I don't know. It's been that way since 1976 when they first started trading currencies there at the CME, and they've never changed it. So that's another one that we're paying attention to. I think we've got a uh, proverbial break coming in here pretty sec. Oh, we got a whole minute to go. It'll give us a time to uh, cover the Canadian dollar for our – have a get, there's a Canadian dollar. We'll get this up here. And as you can see here, it's had a pretty good run here, the dollar against Canada, and it's got up to the 78% level. Let's just refresh this last couple days. See, we made the 786. We're trading at the 786 right now. So if you wanted to uh, to sell that against the dollar, that that's a pretty good one. We wouldn't have to risk more than that. Actually, Australian dollar is the best because it's got five days, A, B, C, D, three drive to a bottom, 66.22 risk 30 pips or 300 bucks and uh, that's what I'd be paying attention to so we're going to take a break here we'll be right back 877-927-6648 we're going to talk about green Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. 
Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we'll start out with the, uh, this is January, so it means now November is coming into delivery here next week. So uh, if you did this, you, your stop's got to be up here around 10. It closes here in about an hour. Uh, you got to go through the overnight uh enjoyment of having a position on that could gap either way but the fact that this was the 3a2 on the long term daily is a good is a good sign you'd like to see it close down in here so you have a little bit of a cushion but you don't always get that now this is uh going to take a look here at the wheat uh, well someone asked to look at tesla son of a gun i forgot to bring that up here and uh tesla's breaking down now folks you can see here there's where we are. I'm going to get rid of this because we suggested that it had to hold this level. You see, it went up for two days, and now it's starting to go lower. It's setting. The only good thing about Tesla, folks, it's setting exactly right now. We've taken out the low here of the 14th. We haven't gone much below it. The low today was uh, 13, uh, 1290. We're at 1336 right now. That's the 61% retracement. The fact that we didn't have much of a rally here, have that big gap, a little scary. But uh, uh, the risk here is really small, folks, just like that Australian dollar. I don't know which ones are going to work, but if you buy it here, you only have to risk a dollar out of a stock that's 213 bucks. I mean, that's one half of 1%. I mean, that's uh, it's pretty easy to figure that one out. In fact, if it gets below it, probably ought to go short because it's probably going to go maybe even a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, longer, or a little bit more to go on the downside. Also, we had a question about McDonald's today because they had some problems with the, one of their ingredients that they use all the time, E. coli. I don't know if that's like mayonnaise or not. I can't remember. I shouldn't say that because I'm not a Mickey D fan. I was when I was a kid, but – and I'm still a kid actually. MCD is uh, at McDonald's, right? MCD, there it is right there. McDonald's. See if it's hurt them a bit. Oh, oh, oh. Heard them big time. Whoa, look at this drop today in McDonald's. That's a big drop, folks, 10%. That's a, yeah, 10% drop. Wow, let's see where it stopped. Did you get the memo to sell it yesterday? Uh, I guess we did. Anyway, I can't see. Well, you can see the ABCDs on the way up, but let's see where it stopped. Probably exactly at the 3A2 because these guys know how to play the monk, play the game pretty well. Yeah, we missed it by... Uh, Point to it's already rallied ten bucks off of that. But as you look at this on a shorter time frame, let's just get this refresh uh, default so that I can see what I'm looking at here. And I'm just going to blow this up, and then I'm going to take this all this stuff out so we can look at it together. For those of you that don't look at ABC, uh, delete it all. There we go. Okay, we're just going to look at. There's McDonald's here, and you can see here as we go, we're just going to give a little bit of the old. Surf and turf, A, B, C, D. There's A, B equals C, D. And there's the first one right there. And there's the second one coming in right behind it. Coming up in right there. And what do we call this, Larry? Raise that placard over there, Johnny. That's a what? 
Uh, three drive to a top. Let's just ride her in. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three coming up here. And you can see that's it right there. Drive one, drive two, drive three. Boom. I don't trade stocks, but guys, we were short the Dow Jones, and so that's that's working all right. All right, let's get this out of the way here. We get this uh, done and finished, and uh, move us out of the way here. And uh, now we're going to get over and take a look at something else that I want to see, which is the wheat market. Let's get over here to the wheat, and uh, we'll be bringing it up. Here's the wheat. This is a Christmas wheat here, coming down, uh, trying to make a bottom in here, folks. Uh, we have we came down and matched the lows of yesterday by just a little bit. So it's held pretty good at this 50%. So that's that's really good action, okay? So what I'm going to do now is go down to a smaller time frame, just an hourly chart to see there is – you see how it made a double bottom at the same spot, and then we rallied up, really good rally here. This is important, folks, from my perspective. But, you know, I'm just a nickel-dimer. But, look, there's the low today. We, we rallied how much? 60 cents. We rallied 17 cents. That's a harmonic number in wheat, okay? Now, what you want to watch for, if you, if you like the wheat market, and I do – Watch for a 382 in here. You see how it's just backing off a little bit? This will give you a really low risk shot. Now remember, beans and, and corn, all these are different. So your 382 comes down here. Well, it's only three cents lower, but watch it. At 576, what you'd like to see, this has taken three hours, folks, for it to back off four cents. So another three hours, we could get it down here at 976. Then you'd have something really good to, to hang your hat on. In other words, what I'm saying is, give it the more the more bars that it takes to get to this level right here, the more bullish it is. You'd like to see it spend a long time getting down to this area right here, because then you know, uh oh, this is really a good spot right in here. This is the kind of twentyman lug because that would set up his old twentyman line coming in. Well, no, that'd be quite a bit lower. That would be way down here at the six one eight. But this is what I'd like to see. You see how many hours it took for this to go down? It took a day and a half. I'd like to see this take this in about a half a day tonight, tomorrow. Oh, maybe Friday. Uh, well, Friday we're going to be what, have our live trading. We'll watch this one very closely. And, we'll, you know, all it is is just a way of, uh, you know, looking at uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And, you know, this is a good one because you had a double bottom in here, and now you're backing off a little bit. So that's uh, that's what we want to keep, uh, keep our uh, – uh, head dry or keep our uh, oh let's look at this let's see how the AI performed here with the wheat today since I'm doing that I don't do these very often but when I'm here watching I'll bring it up here so we can take a quick boy the time goes fast when you're having fun doesn't it okay here was the here was the uh, suggested here okay see it caught the caught the low pretty good missed the high by a great deal okay uh, there there I think there's your first 382 retracement right here there's your low. Uh, no, it goes to the 50% level. And then you have these higher bottoms in here. And now you're rolling over a little bit. So this is what you want to be uh, want to be watching. Watch this number here at uh, 576, folks. That's the one you want to hang your hat on. That's uh, the 382 of this next one, right? It might not work, but like anything else, <laughs> sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And that's what you want to be watching here. 576. That's down uh, three cents from where it is right now. But three cents is a lot of money as you look at these things here today. Now we want to look at the last one, which is our soybean oil. This is the gift that keeps on giving. This is a great thing to trade, folks. Let's get this up here on the daily because this has got some potential here. Ah, there's where we are today. Up again, this is what we want to see. Now, we've held this level pretty good. Now, we hit a pretty good spot here today. We took out the previous day's high. What we want to do now is to see what that was off of that high right there. And you come over here and look at this, and you'll see it was 61% of those, those highs right back in here. Okay? That's all we've done now. We're starting to back off again. Now, this is a per – oh, there, we've already done it too. Hold on, folks. Very, very important here. We've got an A, B, C, D forming right here. We've got a major low way over here, don't we? So we're just going to say A, B, C, D, put it in at the 382 comes in right about there. So keep an eye on it. There's the old highs right there. There's a, There was the old high. So 
there's a spot to look at the oil. It's down about another 30, uh, 30 pips or so from where we're at. Watch this uh, same thing. You got an ABCD coming in right there. Let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, we're still making new lows here on the uh, uh, E-mini S&P, as you can see here. This is why when you got the ABCDs and they have these really strong moves down, that's where you've got to be really super careful. And same thing on the upside. you got to be careful on the upside also. So look, when you have something like this, what you're going to have usually, if you'll do this and do the 1.27 on that, it'll get you really close to what that next low would be. It'll probably be a 1.618 level. And it's setting there right now. And here we are with two hours to go. Uh, in the day. So this is an area where we should have some pretty good support here. If you remember when we were looking at this just a moment ago, hold on boys and girls, let's get the old clock on the wall here to show you the uh, YM if I can find the darn thing now. And I can't. So this is it. Yeah, there it is. The YM should be bottoming right about now. Here's where we are. 
right about now. So there's where we should get our little rally here, the last two hours of the day. But remember, this is the least reliable of any of them, folks. Okay, now let's just for kicks and giggles, since I talked about that Australian dollar, I don't want anybody to walk home bankrupt. So we'll get up here with this hourly chart and see if it's holding at all. And uh, I think we're right about where we were before. Let's get that four-hour chart up so we can see where we are. Make sure you have a stop working in here because, yeah, there it is right now. The number was at 6622. We're at 6623 right now, so it's right there. So if you bought that, if you bought that on that pattern right here, that three-drive pattern, one, two, three, draw it in. Make sure you stop. You've got 23. Put your stop at five. Uh, let's, let's, yeah, this just risk $200. Put your stop at 66. 66. Oh, three. That way you're going to risk 200 bucks. Not going to break you. If it does, call me and I'll try to send a relief check or something. Uh, you better hold back on that one. Anyway, let's uh, see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.